Good morning, large white farm dogs. How are you doing, guys? Good morning, guys. How's it going? Good to see you. Hi. Hi. Ooh, good to see you. Good to see you, too. You're curious about this, aren't you? You're wondering what I got. All right, let's go inside. Come on. It was really cold last night. I just looked at the thermometer and it said it's eight degrees Fahrenheit. You guys don't seem to mind it one bit, do you? Yeah, oh, snuggles from the pups, yeah. All right, let's get this day started right, huh? Definitely one of those freezing water mornings. I am sure glad I covered the hydrant last night. First we'll do water for the birds and water for the dogs. Hopefully the water comes out. There we go. Okay, you guys wanna see something cool? I don't know how well you can see this on camera. But I just dumped out the frozen dog water bucket. There's basically maybe about an inch and a half of ice on the outer wall of this bucket. It shows you just how cold it got last night. But these two genuinely don't care. They just seem like they want me to let the birds out or maybe rub their tummies. Oh, you're such a good abadoo. <laughs> All right, guys, let's go enter the world of the birds. Abby, behave yourself. Good girl. Good morning, birds. How's everybody doing? Everybody looks healthy and okay and did well with the cold. Even though it's super cold out there, I think it might actually be either at freezing or just above freezing inside here, which just goes to show you the power of the hoop coop. Good morning, weird chickens. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that those Rhode Island Reds just went in here to try to lay some eggs. I've noticed I've been getting a lot more eggs inside here, and I bet that's the case, yeah. But not you, girls. These young chickens, that gal there and that gal there, they haven't even started to lay eggs yet. And by my calculations, they probably won't lay eggs until, I don't know, about February or so. All right, we're gonna let everybody out, huh, Toby? Release the Quacken! Abby, are you getting yourself into trouble? No, yeah, you don't play with the chickens, that's right. Yeah, you're trying to sit like a good girl? That's what we do, yes, good girl. Abby, come. Abby, no, don't get mischievous, come on. <laughs> don't worry, birds, I got your food, I got your food, come with me. Oh, you're looking pretty rough there, girl. It's a tough time to be going through a molt. So this is officially our last pumpkin grown on the farm. Frozen solid. <laughs> see if we got a deposit. Oh yeah, do I know my girls or what? I'm only getting like two or three eggs a day, so these are important and it's good that I caught them before they froze. What are you two goons doing? I'll feed you as soon as I'm done with the cattle. So I just turned on the water, take a moment for the water to build up enough pressure. We should have water coming through this hose at any moment. Well, that's no good. I think we've hit a snag here. Oh, wait. It just started. I think it just started. Uh, it's dripping. Steady, slowly, but dripping. I thought I was gonna have to thaw out the hose. So what happened is it looks like just ever so tiny amount of water got stuck in the hose overnight last night, and so it froze. So I just took a moment for it to start running. And while it's only a dribble right now, it should pick up some momentum in a minute or two. Of course, I do have to tackle the second part of this task. So I wanna fish out the ice chunks that are in here.
Now, Anna Green Gables is usually one of the more skittish cows, but maybe she's gonna let me pet her today. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Hey, Bonnie, how are you doing? Are you excited for the final season of Letter Ketty? I know I am. Just think, she was just a little calf not too long ago. Now she's dropping bombs. <laughs> oh, you're being very friendly there, Bonnie. It's good to see. Oh, maybe you're not too friendly. Yeah, don't get too close to me, please. Going back to say hi to your mom. So the herd dynamics that sort of flared up when I introduced the two heifers have completely calmed down and our herd hierarchy is fully established at this point. So Audrey, who's way down there, she remains our boss cow. And Ariel continues to be number two, and she's doing really good. Oh, how's my big girl? Feeling good there, girl. Anna Green Gables, who is the cow drinking the water, she is number three. Annabelle. Where are you? Oh, she's over loafing behind this hay bale. How's it going, Annabelle? I didn't mean to disturb you. I was just telling everybody that you are cow number four. And then Amanda Hug and Kiss, who's back over there, is cow number five. Anne of Green Gables' daughter, Belinda Carlisle, has established her as cow number six. Heifer number six. I mean, like, she's number six in the herd. Bonnie McMurray's number seven. And then we have our girl, Wee Little Baby Bee. She's at the bottom, but she's doing okay. Come here, Baby Bee. Wanna try a little sample of a cookie? Can I entice you? What if I break off just a little piece? That interest you? Uh oh. We've caught the attention of Boss Cow. She's not going to allow biscuits to be distributed without her getting her taste. Ooh, don't be startled by it. Yeah. Oh, you almost got it. Go for it, girl. Drop it on the ground, you can keep exploring. I think Baby Bee's a little bit concerned that I have Ginny Barncat on my shoulder. Ginny just climbed up here while I was feeding cubes to everybody. It looks like she just took it. She just took it while I was talking to you. Oh, good job, Baby Bee. Maybe you're gonna find out that you like those and you're gonna get, let me give you more. Are you interested in some more? Hmm? Hmm? Audrey, don't knock the camera, please. Here, you can have this one if you want. I'll let you have that. Can I take the icicles off your chin? <laughs> Got icicles from her drool dripping down there. No, 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 leave the camera alone, please. Maybe if she sees Audrey doing it, and since Audrey's boss cow, it's okay with Audrey, maybe it'll be okay with Baby B. You gotta take it. I can't push it in your mouth. Oh, there you go. Good job, girl. I'm very proud of you. That was a nice little step in our relationship. Uh-oh, here comes the whole herd. I think all of the ladies saw that I was starting to give out treats, and the, so they got interested and they came over. Maybe I can get Baby B to take one more treat. Try it. Oh, nope, boss cow is like clearing everybody out. <laughs> okay, I think that's the end of treat time for this morning. Oh, would you look at that? So there's turds that I gotta come in here with the honey wagon and pick up. But it also looks like I got some Highland fur here. Belinda, you don't wanna eat Highland fur. Don't eat that. I'll give you a treat, how about that? And, wow, yo, you almost took off my finger, girl. <laughs> I feel like it's the season to be giving treats to everybody. By the way, if you guys are looking for treats to give folks, we've got this brand new Goldshaw Farm toque or beanie or cap or whatever you want to call it. I'll connect this video to the hat as well as you can always find it on our website goldshawfarm.com. Just go under the tab that says buy stuff. Now it looks like the trough is pretty much filled up. I've started to notice that Belinda Carlisle is the most playful of all the heifers or of all the cattle really. She's She's got a very playful spirit to her. A little bit wild at times, so I gotta be careful, but I don't know. I like her personality. Yeah, you're a good one. I love you. Yeah. Boop you on the booper schnoot, how about that? Now you guys might have saw me fill up this jug at the beginning of the video. It's basically just water and salt mixed together. I have tried this experiment over the years with particularly duck waterers and putting, you know, salt water in a jug and letting it float and seeing if it helps prevent the water from freezing. But I figured since I'm experimenting with my water this year and finding ways to avoid freezing and dealing with freezing water, I'd give it another try again with the cattle. Whoop, down it goes. Wait, did it sink to the bottom? <laughs> and it doesn't look like it's coming back up. I think I might've had too much water, not enough air. <laughs> oh dear. Let me try to let out a little bit of this water. And maybe not drop it in like that. Let's see if that helps. Maybe a little bit more. I want it to be like a bobber. Let's put it in this way so that it floats butt up. There we go. And now with the girls trough filled, let me switch this over to the boys. Your mom busted it and said, what's that noise? Oh, mommy just jealous, it's the 
beefy boys. Oh, well that's embarrassing. All right, first we gotta break up the ice, much like we just did for the girls. But actually what's interesting is, I didn't even have to break through because the boys have been breaking through their water and getting drinks as they need it. Usually the girls do that too, but for some reason they didn't do it last night. Back up, Joseph. Back up, back up. Hey, don't get fresh ideas there, kid. For some reason, Joey's got like a little bit of a chip on his shoulder about me pulling these ice chips out this morning. This is actually the first time he's ever done something like this. Definitely has me a little bit nervous though. Here, Joey, I'm gonna let you investigate this shovel. Cause I think that's the thing that's triggered you. No need for my morning coffee this morning. That was a little anxiety inducing. I mean, it actually isn't me either as I'm looking at it. He's just very concerned with this shovel and not sure what to make of it. So I think what I'm gonna do is just leave it in here today and let him get used to it. So I know he's used to me, but yeah, sometimes with cattle, like weird things will set them off. And so you gotta be thoughtful and careful. And if you notice signs of them doing something weird, respect it. Hey, 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 don't eat my camera. <laughs> All right, now we can turn off the water, disconnect the hydrant. Now this water is gonna drain out, try to clear it out from any ice. Then I'm gonna disconnect this, drag this guy all the way out here. And I'm gonna clip it to the fence right here. Make sure all the water filters out. You guys might be wondering if I'm gonna put one of these jugs in with the boys. I wasn't planning on it, but I was actually thinking about my little science experiment here to see like how well this prevents the freezing. And the reality is because there's more cattle on this side of that trough there, they're gonna drink more, they're gonna interact with the water more. And so that's the one that freezes less usually because there's only two of them. The boy water actually freezes a lot faster. And so I think I'm gonna actually put this right in here with them with their water. What do you think about it, Joey Ramon? I'm really curious to see if this works. What do you think, Ginny Barncat? Do you think it's gonna work? Ginny's like, I'm hungry. Can we go eat, please? And if you guys are curious about the experiment with the water, I'll try to give an update. Chill out, Ginny, chill out. Here, there's food enough for everybody, here. No, don't eat Pablo's, eat yours. Ginny, <laughs> that behavior is completely unacceptable. Ginny, hey. Ginny is such a weird cat. She can be a little picky and persnickety sometimes. Somehow Pablo Barncat tolerates it. He really is a saint. Five hours later.